so we can do one time from that. I just want to yeah, see the part. I'm going to put it in a similar place. Um, so, 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 the reason why I chose this project, say, to something else, was because I wanted something that would challenge me, and I'd never done anything this big before, and neither had Brett. I honestly had no intentions of recording anytime soon. Yeah, this project started out being just me and Brett. I mean, I wrote songs, and I was like, it'd be cool to record these someday, but I didn't know that I was going to record them this soon, and Mike Engel approached me saying, let's do this, and I was like, yeah. Uh, we initially just kind of thought through the, the story of the album. It was Brett coming with these songs that he had written before, and then me and Sam kind of uh, critiquing, not so much critiquing at first, just enjoying them, but then also realizing, okay, maybe we can tweak this, tweak that. We, we hit drums, and that was the first kind of big day of recording. Ben McEwen, who is our four-and-a-half-year-old drummer, in impressed with everything he does. Watching Brett and Ben just go at it sometimes, um, but they just, they're always getting out better and better takes as they go through the time. He's just a really, really talented drummer and was able to do these tracks, and we were ahead of schedule uh, because of him. So that kind of gave the project, I think, a really official feel. People realize this is not just some sort of game, it's actually like happening. And I think at that moment, I remember Sam and me looking at each other and going, wow. This is, this is what we want to do music for. This is the experience that we had always dreamed of. And after the drums, we, we uh, have been kind of scheduling guitars, electric guitars. It didn't sound I've bad. done pretty much all of the electric guitars, yeah. except Caleb's done a couple things. Well, my role's kind of changed as it's gone through because at first I thought I was just gonna like play Brett's songs on bass and like sing. I, I've done all the acoustic guitars on it which there's not as much as people probably think there would be if they've heard previous stuff from me. Um, bass has been mainly Caleb. I found out that like a lot of a lot of the things like they could have a really nice bass line underneath it. I kind of wanted to create like a more complex rhythmic feel with it, so some of it deviates from what the guitars are doing. And then what happened was, as the project kind of got bigger and bigger, there was more interest in the project. And so then we had the very talented Katie Davis come and play cello. Caleb did a lot of the charting out for the orchestral stuff. I was like composing stuff for Katie to play cello to and um, giving a lot more input than I had expected at first. And then we had Aaron McIntyre uh, come and do some violin. That was really cool. They're just really professional musicians, and so they were able to get each part done within a few days or a day. It just adds like a whole new dimension to the album. So I'm really satisfied with how that turned out. We're on vocals right now, which has been a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb is just an incredible singer. We both have really different qualities to our voice, but they they work really well together. They're both really important. If you took one away, it'd be like, this isn't the same song. I need the other vocal part. He's a better singer than I am, and so I'm really fortunate that I get to have him on the album and do harmonies. He's a good singer, but a better friend. I'm really proud of the way these guys have worked together. Um, it's certainly been uh, a growing experience for each one of them, I think, as they have learned how to give critique, handle critique, at the same time, you know, dream bigger dreams than either one could individually do. So it's been fun to watch. Most of these songs I wrote when I was mad or frustrated. A lot of them started to be more about confusion in life and and not really understanding a lot of what life is and and trying to find an answer in in all of that and and then it just kind of turned into more of frustration with myself watching a a young person go through the struggles that everyone goes through and has questions and doesn't always resolve them instantly and in the end finds peace knowing that the friends and family around them will really really shape and help them grow into the person they want to be my character kind of Went to a place that I didn't want to. I knew kind of that I wasn't 
who I should have been. And I wrote these songs basically in some sense yelling at myself. And so I love the way he he paints this, this picture. It's a beautiful picture and I hope people will enjoy it. Hurt myself. Like for Brett, a lot of his the music is, is more about like, I need to communicate like my feelings or something like that. But for me, it's more about like enjoying the the creative process of it all and like enjoying like the potential that God has given us within music. It's an album that admits that we have flaws. For me, like creating music and art is like about like the fact that we have this potential that we can create things. There's so many different things that you could create and it's just like waiting there like it doesn't exist right now but you can go out and like write a song and like listen to it and you can create like a whole experience. Through it all I still wanted to rely on the Lord and just give all of it up to him. When you have that moment after you know a couple hours in the studio and you've just been trying and finally you know you get a really good take from the vocals or a great take from the guitar and you're like that is that's what it's about. <laughs> I hope this is a project that captures people's attention, that leads them to discover more about themselves at the end of the project. I think that's something that Brett carries with him in his music is the promise of, of, of finding that community, of finding that, that place that we belong. I'm going to be really excited for the release show and when the album's out there, you know, it's going to be a really exciting day. The main event that we're building up to is a release album release date um, that's going to be May 8th, and it's going to be at Maranatha Hall here on uh, campus at Northwestern University. Or maybe we will think it's horrible in five years and go, why? Why do we ever do that? So we just want to say thanks again to all of our Kickstarter supporters and to the hundreds of friends and family who have been behind this project from the get-go, uh, to our professors who've encouraged us to the school who's uh, allowed us to be in a, a, a stage of growth here and to use their studios, use the equipment here. It, it's really a group of people who come together to make a project like this. We're really grateful that we had this chance to grow in this season with these people and I think it will shape the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm.